from the serene and lofty grandeur of the Himalayas to the shores of the Bay of Bengal. From the lush green paddy fields to the bustling and lively metropolis. From the beautiful folk arts and exquisite handicrafts to the modern information technology hub. This is West Bengal or Poschim Bango, the sweetest part of India. Yes, we have them all here. The story of Bengal started more than three millennia ago when early settlers came to the fertile and lush green plains of the eastern Indian subcontinent. Bongo was one of the five ancient kingdoms, namely Ongo, Bongo, Kulingo, Shumho and Pundro as depicted in the Mahabharata. Relics of ancient periods as early as 600 BC were found from several places of present-day West Bengal. Over the course of its history, Bengal has witnessed invasions of many rulers and settlers from other regions of South Asia, which eventually shaped its people, culture and language. Bengal played a leading role during the Indian independence movement and has remained one of India's great artistic and intellectual centers. Following the partition of the former British Bengal province in 1947, the western part of the Hindu-dominated Bengal became West Bengal, with Kolkata as its capital. With more than a 91 million population, West Bengal is the fourth most populous state of India. Geographically, West Bengal is unique. With the Himalayan mountains in the north and the world's largest delta with mangrove forests named the Sundarbans in the south. People of West Bengal takes great pride for its secularism as people from different faiths stay here peacefully and enjoy major religious festivals of each communities together. Every year, people of West Bengal eagerly wait for its nearly week-long and grandest festival of the year during autumn, the Durga Puja. The organizing clubs showcase their work of art through lavishly decorated pandals and innovative themes of depicting the goddess Durga. Bengalis are known for being great admirer of fine cuisines and their love for fish. A traditional lunch is unthinkable without a fish in its menu. Bengalis are also known for their sweet tooth. Shandesh, Roshogulla and Roshomalai and Mishti Doi or sweet yogurt are their favorite deserts. Kolkata is popularly called the Mecca of Indian football. It has produced a number of legendary soccer players, most notably among them Chuni Goswami and P.K. Banerjee. Under Chuni Goswami's captaincy, India won the gold medal in the 1962 Asian Games. The greatest rivalry in Indian soccer is the Calcutta Derby, which is played between the two biggest soccer clubs in India, East Bengal and Mohan Bagan. Former Indian cricket captain Saurav Ganguly, regarded as one of the greatest captains of the cricket world, is from West Bengal. Along with him, West Bengal has produced a number of great cricketers starting from Pankaj Roy till Ridhiman Saha of present generation. Joins of Indian cinema, Satyajit Ray, Mrinal Sen and Rithik Khatok brought Indian films to the world stage. Satyajit Ray received Honorary Academy Award for Lifetime Achievement in 1992, becoming the first Indian to receive an honorary Oscar. Six Nobel laureates have a Kolkata connection as either their place of birth or work. Rabindranath Tagore was the first Asian to receive a Nobel Prize 
in 1913, while C. V. Raman was the first Asian to receive a Nobel Prize in any branch of science in 1930. Mother Teresa received Nobel Prize for Peace in 1979, while Omoto Shen and Abhijit Banerjee for Economics in 1998 and 2019. After independence, significant rise in industrialization took place in West Bengal. Dr. Bidhan Chandra Roy, the second chief minister hailed as the architect of modern West Bengal. He played a key role in establishing a number of industrial townships and premier academic institutions during the late 1950s and early 1960s. Modern West Bengal is witnessing phenomenal growth in information technology and electronics industries bengal silicon valley hub has come up in kolkata and several it parks opened in different smaller cities migration of bengali professionals to the united states started to increase from around 1965 the number of indian bengalis gradually increased and as of today There are about 47,600 Bengalis of Indian origin in the US. Today, an estimated 700 Bengalis call the twin cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul as their home. However, things were very much different 50 years ago when many Bengalis were gradually starting to settle down in the US Midwest. In absence of the communication technology which we enjoy today it was not easy to nurture the cultural traditions from back home but some of them came forward and formed their own community and started organizing cultural programs with limited resources let us have a look how were those days back then Then on April 1, 1990, the Bengali Association of Minnesota or BAM was born to fulfill the social and cultural needs of Indian Bengali diaspora settled in Minnesota. The mission of BAM is to preserve and cherish the heritage, philosophy, culture and traditions of Bengal. The Bengali Association of Minnesota is guided by a well-formulated constitution. The executive board of Bengali Association of Minnesota is headed by a president with eight directors who manage various aspects of BAM. Additionally, the advisory and compliance committee has three members. Tenures of BAM board members are renewed annually. BAM's dedication to the values of Bengali culture is best reflected in its activities and calendar of events. We sponsor and organize various cultural events and activities geared towards all age groups that are connected to Bengali culture including music, literature, performing and visual arts, movies, along with spiritual activities and popular contemporary culture. Bengali Association of Minnesota is actively engaged in a number of outreach activities supporting various charitable organizations in Minnesota as well as back home in West Bengal. In May 2020, several districts of southern West Bengal were devastated from the tropical cyclone Amphan. BAM fundraising committee received nearly 4800 US dollars in donations from the community members. which was donated towards Amphan relief program of the Ramakrishna Mission Seva Pratishthan of Kolkata and to PM Cares Fund of the Government of India. Bengali Association of Minnesota has come a long way over the past 3 decades fulfilling its broader goal to promote cultural understanding, friendship, goodwill, warmth, cooperation and harmony. between the different communities of minnesota we shall further progress by inculcating the rich cultural heritage and traditions of bengal to our younger generations namaskar